Hi there boys and girls, how are you doing? Titi Tim here and I'm doing great. In this video clip we're going to work with both the student book and the grammar book. Alright, so I will change the camera angle as I usually do and I want you to open your book, student book, to page uh, do, 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 page 44 and 45 alright so I will see you in a few seconds ok so here we are on page 44 in the student book and we are still on theme 4 clothes but we have 6 new vocabularies so let's go over the vocabularies number 1 Pants, pants. Number two, socks, socks. Number three, t-shirt, t-shirt. Number four, shoes, shoes. Number five, sneakers, sneakers. And number six, cap cap uh, a side note now uh, two of these items they have different words in English so let's start with number one pants this is an American book so that's why they use the word pants but in England so English 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 in England not English in America. American English. This book is from America. So they use American English. And in American English, these are pants. But in English English, in England, they don't use the word pants. They know pants, what they are. They know that pants are these kind of pants. But they say trousers in England they would call these trousers they are the same thing they just use different words for them so in, uh, in America these pants sorry <laughs> these pieces of clothing they call pants but in England they say trousers and then number five sneakers in America they say these kinds of shoes are sneakers but in England they use another word do you know the word? no? ok I will help you in, in England they use the word trainers trainers not sneakers they know that sneakers is the same as trainers but they use the word uh, trainers it's, in America they use sneakers Okay, good. So now let's read the short dialogue. Grandma and Grandpa can't see the girls. So Grandma is asking, What are you wearing? And one of the girls, she is answering, I'm wearing a blue t-shirt. I think Grandma and Grandpa are supposed to pick up the girls at the train station, but they cannot see them. So grandpa, he hugs a man he thinks is his granddaughter because he is wearing a blue shirt as well. <laughs> okay, at the bottom of the page, listen and practice. What are you wearing? I'm wearing a white dress. What is he wearing or what's he wearing? What is Karai? What's Karai? What is he wearing? He's wearing green shorts or he is. He is same same as he's. He is wearing green shorts. Okay, now we go to page 45. <coughs> Focus on the Z sound. 
Uh, I'm wearing shoes. So I'm wearing sh shoes. Shoes. Z shoes. Okay. Practice point and answer. Sorry. Practice point ask and answer. <laughs> Question. What is he wearing? Answer. He is wearing green pants. Or you can ask, what's he wearing? He's wearing green pants. Okay. What is she wearing? She is wearing a purple t-shirt. Or she is wearing a blue skirt. Kapong. Sifa. Sinamgan. T-shirt. Si... I don't know in Thai. Si Mong? I don't remember. I don't remember in Thai. Okay. What's she wearing? She's wearing a blue t-shirt. Or she's wearing blue sneakers. What's he wearing? He's wearing a, uh, sorry, an orange cap. Or he's wearing a green t-shirt. He's wearing brown shorts. What's he wearing? He's wearing a blue trainer shirt. Or he's wearing orange shorts. And then lastly, what's he wearing or she? I don't know if that's supposed to be a girl or a boy. Doesn't matter. What's she wearing? She garai, he garai. What's he wearing? He's wearing a blue t-shirt. Or he's wearing blue shorts. Or he's wearing yellow socks. Okay? Good. So practice this. Ask six times and then you answer six, time, six times. Either alone or with the help of your mother or father. Okay? Good. Now let's go to the grammar book. And open the grammar book to page 30 please. Page 30. So I will see you in a few seconds. Let's change the book. <clears throat> okay, so here we are on page 30 in the grammar book now. So, in the gram grammar book we're going to talk about present continuous tense articles. I'm wearing is the present continuous form of the verb wear. We use the present continuous tense to talk about things that, we are, that are happening now. <clears throat> I'm wearing a red t-shirt equals now, today, I don't wear my red t-shirt every day. We make the present continuous with a form of the verb be plus a verb plus ing, ing. Okay? So, I'm wearing blue socks. And then, I'm same as I am. You're wearing a red t-shirt. And your is the same as you are. He's wearing brown shoes. And his is the same as he is. She's wearing white sneakers. She's is the same as she is. In questions, we change the word order. The, the verb be goes before the pronoun. So when you ask a question, you change them around. So you ask, you say, what am I wearing? Because when you answer, then you say, I'm wearing. Okay? So what are you wearing? What is he wearing? What is she wearing? Okay? All right, good.
Now let's go to exercise A. Underline the present continuous verb. All right. So today I'm wearing a red t-shirt. Red is my favorite color. Okay. So which word is the present continuous verb? Anyone? Wearing, yes. So today I'm wearing a red t-shirt. Red is my favorite color. And wearing is the present continuous verb. Number two. My dad wears brown shoes every day, but today he is wearing sneakers. Which is the present continuous verb? Please underline it. Number three. My sister likes blue things. Today she's wearing a blue dress and blue socks. Okay. And number four. My brother is also wearing blue jeans. Okay. Now exercise B. Look and match. Uh, so you have to look at these pictures here and num uh, so write what letter each picture match with what sentence. So number one, she's wearing a red t-shirt. Is that A, B, C, D, E or F? So first, let's look at the pictures. How many pictures are girls? Because the sentence says she, that's a woman or a girl. So we have B, that's a girl, D is a girl, and F is a girl. And then wearing a red t-shirt. Which girl is wearing a red t-shirt? B, yes. D, no. F, no. So it must be B. Picture B. Okay. Number two. He's wearing brown shoes. So he, that is a boy. So which letters are boys. A is a boy, C is a boy, and E is a boy. So, he's wearing brown shoes. Brown shoes. Who is wearing brown shoes? So you look and you find the boy that wears brown, brown shoes and then you write what letter he's standing under. Okay, then we have number three. He's wearing a blue t-shirt. Number four. She's wearing red sneakers. Five. She's wearing blue socks. Six. He's wearing green pants. Okay, so look at the pictures and then write what letter. Okay. Exercise C. We write the words in order. So number one, you have a picture. And then, so you need to write them in the correct order. It is not in this order right now. Purple. I'm wearing sneakers. No. So it starts with I'm I'm wearing wearing purple sneakers. Okay, so that is the correct order order of the of the words. I'm wearing purple sneakers. Then two, wearing his shoes brown. Write them in the correct order. Do that for two, three, four, five, and six. All right. And the last exercise, D, write about you, then write about your friend. So, I'm wearing, and then you write what you are wearing, at least two items. I want you to write that you're two items that you are wearing. And then, my friend's wearing... What is your friend we wearing? Okay, so please finish these exercises. Alright, and that will be all for this video clip. <clears throat>